What is the future of photography? I think to understand the future and the present of any technology, one must look back. Uh, if I was just to do this and say, okay, I'm gonna teach you chemistry, memorize that, now you know chemistry, done. That's awful, that's rotten. What we have to do is go way back to Aristotle and say, oh, well, they thought fire and water and all this stuff were elements, and, they, and we have to go through wrong, 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 mistake, fail, incorrect, slightly more correct, slightly more correct, and then we can get to an actual science where we have something today. You know, you add a proton, take a proton away, you've got mercury, you've got gold, fascinating, silver. So photography is best understood, I think, by going way back to the beginning, to this guy, Fox Talbot, born in 1800. My name is Leif Norman, and I make all of my money with this finger and this eye. He was, he was a rich Southern English gentleman, very smart guy. He was a mathematician. He had, uh, he had leisure. He had leisure, smarts, and money. So he was in Italy one, one fine summer, trying to sketch this lake landscape with this device called a camera obscura. You put paper on top of the little uh, diagram there, and you, you trace it all out. The lens focuses on what you're looking at, and then he took the paper away, and it was garbage. It was just squiggles. It didn't come out at all. And he thought, well, why can't I just get this dumb machine to do it for me? I just want the photons to, to draw themselves. I want nature to do it for me. He knew about this stuff called silver nitrate. 